Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can download and install XAMPP web server on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. First of all open your favorite browser and search for XAMPP. So just search for XAMPP and just press enter. And in here first option hopefully which will appear here will be from apachefriends.org. So just click this link and this will open this website which is apachefriends.org and if you want to change the language you can change the language from here for example I want English version of the XAMPP so just change the language and now you can see the download options here so we want the options which is uh, for Windows so I will choose the XAMPP for Windows so just click it and once you click it the download will start from this web server. Now it's a relatively big file, so it will take some time to download this XAMPP executable file. So you just need to wait for maybe a few minutes and once it is downloaded, we can go further. Since I have already downloaded this file, I will pause this download for now, but in your case, you have to download it. So once it will be downloaded, you will see the next step. So now my download for this XAMPP executable file for Windows is complete. So I can run this executable file. So just to click run to execute this executable file. And I am going to minimize my browser and uh, I will wait for this installation to start. So first of all, it will give you this kind of warning. You just need to click yes and then it's going to start the installation wizard for the XAMPP. So just wait for one or two seconds and then the installation will start. So now I can see this kind of warning. So don't worry about these warnings. They will come while you are installing the XAMPP server. So you just need to click OK for these warnings. So you may be seeing multiple warning in your case, but it's nothing to worry about. You can just click OK to proceed further. Right now you will be able to see this kind of setup interface for XAMPP. So you just need to click next and uh, you can see these are the programs or apps which will come with your XAMPP web server. So Apache will come with MySQL, FileZilla FTP server, Mercury mail server will come and Tomcat will come and the program which will come with it is PHP and Perl. And also it will come with PHP MyAdmin for managing your MySQL and other you know options you can see so it's a good idea to leave them as default all the checkbox is checked and then click next and this will be the location where XAMPP will be installed so just keep this location in mind we are going to access XAMPP for this location so in my case it's a C colon slash XAMPP okay so you just click next and click next and click next and uh, just wait for some time you know to complete the installation so it's going to take some time so just wait for the installation to complete once this green progress bar reaches 100 percent then we are going to go further now in between you will see this kind of warning or alert window you just need to allow the access so just click allow access and just wait for the installation to complete okay now the installation for the xam web server is complete and now after the completion it will ask you whether you want to start the control panel for the XAM to start so just leave this checkbox as checked and click finish okay and once you click finish it's going to start the control panel for your XAM web server so it's going to start this type of control panel for XAM right now in here you can see a different kind of services and uh, the status of these services if they are running or not so to start apache a web server what we need to do is we just need to click start and it's going to start the apache web server on port 80 right now sometimes what happens is generally if you have the other programs installed and sometimes this port 80 is occupied by some other programs then you may need to change this port right now so in my case this port 80 is not occupied by any other program so it's successfully running but in most of the cases this port 80 is occupied by some other programs 
so how to change it and first of all how to check it so the simple way to check if the port 80 is occupied or not is just to click this button which says net stat so i'm going to just to click net stat and it will show you all the ports which are occupied by some programs so you can see right now port 80 is occupied by my apache web server but it will show you the description of all the services which are occupying some ports so you can detect which app is occupying this right now in order to change in this port for example i want to change this port from port 80 to port 8080 or something else what i can do is i can just click this config button here and it's going to show me some options for con file and the other files i want to choose this first option which is httpd dot conf so just click the first option and it's going to show you this kind of txt file now when you scroll down you can see here the apache web server is listening on port 80 which is the one right so in order to change the port simply you just need to write the number of port which you want to run the apache on so for example i want to change it to 8080 just to change this on to 8080 and then save the file for example i am going to just change it here just in case and then i am going to just save this file and uh, once this file is saved you can once again stop your apache web server and start it again and now you will be able to see here the apache is running on port 8080 so right if you face some problem just uh, change this port from here okay so i'm going to just revert my changes so it will remain default here and this also put 80 and i'm going to save it again right and uh, i'm going to close it and i will restart my apache server so stop my server and restart it and now it's running on port 80 okay so once this is done what we need to do next is i will just open my browser and in here i'll just enter the local host so now because my apache web server is running so i can just uh, you know enter local host and check if it's really running or not so i'll just write here local host and i'll just uh, choose this options which say local host and it's going to show this kind of web page which is for xamp web server right so this is the welcome page for your example web server so now you can see that our xamp web server is running successfully and uh, this is a web page then you know that everything is okay in your apache web server now let's try to open a php my admin so i'll click this option which says php my admin and when i click this it's going to show me error because i haven't started my sql option from here so once again open your control panel and then you just start this mysql from here so just click this second button which say start and once your mysql is started then just click here allow access and when this is done you can refresh this page and now you will be able to see your php my admin and also let's see what happens for this php my admin so it's going to open this kind of php my admin interface okay so you just need to restart then you know the apps which you want to run from here now in this case this will be port 80 then what will happen for example i will change this apache to listen on port 8080 for example instead of 80 port 8080 so just convert to port 8080 and i will just say this so i'm going to just save this and once this is saved and i'm going to close this and i will stop my apache web server and restart it again okay and now it resets listen on port 8080 and now this time when i go to the browser and i will just write local host here and i will click ok it's going to give me some unknown web page because this is now listening on port 8080 
and not the default 80 port. So you just need to write after localhost colon and then port 8080. The port you are using here, right? So whatever port you have provided, you just need to write here after the colon and press enter. And you'll see your Apache or XAMPP homepage. Okay, so this is how you can download and install XAMPP web server on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe the channel for getting latest update for tools and technologies. See you in the next video.